Outstanding. Ah, there we go. That is a perfect angle. Anyway. Oh, I am making this new video in response to a... Oh, hold on. In response to a major question. Yeah, about... <coughs> oh, damn. Give me a minute. Oh, sorry about that. I have to uh, sit down because it's starting to annoy the crap out of me. <gasps> anyway, me and about five friends were having a debate about size and people. And I have to say one simple freaking thing. You got out of bed in the morning. Why do you put on the clothes you put on? When you pop in the music you like to listen to, when you pop in a movie, when you go to the movies, when you go to a restaurant, when you pick out your car, anything. The things you do with your life are an aspect of your personality that you bring into the world. The music you listen to, the art that interests you, everything. The clothes you wear, like me for example. I'm going to stand up now. T-shirt, shorts shorts, basic t-shirt. Me, I'm a basic guy. Easy to please. Just whatever. And the shit. Because I'm lounging in my crib, chilling with my homies and shit. It's just how I roll. Biatch. But most people Get on everybody, uh, you're fat, you're obese. Now, there is an issue with weight in this country. Too many people are fucking enormous. Now, there's enormous and then there's fat. There's actually five levels of fat. You got chubby, which is you know, a couple extra pounds. Who gives a shit? Um, you got fat. A little bit more weight, but once again, who gives a crap? And of course, I'm trying to skip one because you have chubby, then you got fat. Then you have porky, which I know is the third stage, which you should start to worry. I'm not going to be judgmental or anything, but you should kind of worry when you get to porky. Because porky is heart problems, medical problems, all kinds of crap. Then you have freaking huge. That's what I call it. Which is where that guy that makes a bunch of videos, don't call me fat, I get mad. People are going to call you fat, deal with it. And if you weren't fat, they'd make funny for something fucking else. It's how the world works. And then there's obese. Which a lot of people are. Which I can't talk because I don't know whether I'm a two or a three. Hold on. Because I got a pretty good sized gut still. Which is kind of sad. You know, it slicks down a little bit. But there's hope for everybody because I'm actually still working out I actually still try to jog try to uh, eat less in the first six months I actually starved myself I only ate once or uh, at the most twice in, um, twice in a day sometimes I'd go two three days without eating and I have to say what you do is what you do because you have to face yourself in the damn mirror not anybody else what everyone else says is obsolete if you can get away with weighing 800 pounds and it's not going to affect you health-wise, and you like it, go for it. But do what for, do for you. Do for your family. Because I know that at my weight, I was having leg problems. I was having freaking chest pains. I actually weighed a little over 300 pounds. Now, about 185, 190. Last time I weighed myself, I think I was a little around 190. I know I didn't go above 190, but I set goals for myself. If you want to lose weight, lose weight. If you don't, that's on you. Because you're the one who has to look at yourself in the mirror. You're the one who has to look at yourself and go, yeah, I want to change or I don't want to change. No one can change you. No one can tell you what to do. The euphemism I learned, um, well, heard, can't really learn euphemisms, I don't think. Anyway, moving along, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the horse freaking drink. So people, we, me and my friends were debating this about two hours and all I was telling them is that's my point of view I mean you got you know chubby you got fat 
you got uh, chunky, you got freaking huge, and you got obese. That's me. Freaking huge is borderline, you know, you're pretty close to obese. That's just how I feel it. That's how I feel about it. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of fat fuckers out there, and I heard, I've heard every damn excuse in the book from, oh, what the hell is it? Um, thyroid problems to big bone to everything, people. If you want to lose weight, lose weight. If you don't, don't. Don't make excuses, because you're not making excuses to anybody else. You're making excuses to yourself. People make fun of you. People are going to make fun of you. I make fun of people all the time. It's what I do. People make fun of me. I make fun of other people. I'm in a perfect society where people don't make fun of people. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Call me a dickhead for it, but I'm going to be the honest one here. I poke fun at everybody. Hell, I make fun of religion. I make fun of everybody. Hell, I made a video where I was offending like 500 people, talking about zombie Jesus and stuff. So, Wait, really? Really, people? Come on. Pretty soon, fat's going to be a you know racial slur against chunky people. And that's going to be, you know... So it's going to be, um... Uh, what? Horizontal? Uh, no. Yeah, horizontally challenged people, whether they be fat or too damn skinny. And that's that's actually something that concerns me, is we can always discuss, oh, you're too fucking fat, that's unhealthy. What about the too skinny chicks? That's unhealthy. I actually just watched and commented on a video, uh, these two, um, I'm fat, eating McDonald's. These two chicks, it was, it was taped, I think, um, sometime in 2007. They don't look like they've eaten since 2002, okay? Seriously, that's too damn skinny. I mean, I don't want some 300, 400 pound woman. That depends on the height. I don't want some woman my height. I'm 5'9". I don't want some woman 5'9 weighing 400 freaking pounds. Call me a dickhead if you want. That's just me. I don't weigh that much. I don't expect a woman to. It's going to be hard to carry across the threshold if I ever get married one day. Of course, we're talking science fiction there, but we're moving on. Point being, I can friggin' do it. Yeah, you, you ain't got no damn excuses, people. Anywho, now I lost my whole train of thought. Oh, the skinny bitches. Most people get on the fat chicks, and no one talks about the skinny brats. I'm talking like fucking sleep in a Kotex, uh, sleep in a Kotex cup, use a Cheerio for friggin' hula hoop, fucking toothpick chicks. I mean, they made fun of, uh, what's her name, Kate Hudson, or not Kate Hudson, um, ah. Uh, Damn, Kate Moss on Family Guy. Oh, a crack, and she falls through. It's because she's scrawny as hell. Come on, people. No one wants to date a fucking toothpick either. I mean, I'm banging a chick. I'm, I'm going to want to know I can't break that bitch in half. Come on. I mean, moderate amount of weight. Let me tell you. Um, oh, what was her name? If you ever watched a TV show called Friends? I mean, Courtney Cox got a little too skinny in half some of those shows. People get me, people have to realize you want to, you want to, Fucking bang a chick that's got a little bit of weight on her. But you don't want to bang a chick that fucking. You pretty much just grab Shamu and tag that, but you also don't want to tag a chick that freaking looks like she could be one of those damn rescue dolls. She bought that fucking then. Come on, people. Weight moderation, like everything freaking else. I mean, I basically see it as. Uh, how, do you, how do you explain? It's, um. Okay, view it this way. If you eat too little food, you're going to starve to death. If you eat too much food, well, you get fucking fat and ugly. You get too little oxygen, you asphyxiate and die. If you get too much oxygen, well, you could still die. So, try to find a middle barrier here. Okay, people? A little middle barrier. There's there's an in-between. That's, that's the one section where we can say there's a gray area. It's not just black and white, right and wrong. There's an in-between. Why don't everyone huddle up in the middle? And I have to say, uh, in closing of this, which I'm going to title this, um, Weight Issues. I mean, people get on the fat chicks, but we got to get on them skinny bitches because they need to gain a little bit of fucking weight. Like Victoria's Secret model. Uh, Victoria's uh, Secret supermodels. Some of them look pretty good, and some of them, it's like, is that a... 10-year-old boy stuffing a bra and crossing in drag or fuck, because she looks about that fucking skinny people. Seriously. It's creepy. Do I look Catholic to you? <laughs> Bad pun on Catholics. That's alright. I'm half Sicilian and they're Catholic, so I can say it all. I freaking run. Douchebags. But, in closing, what do you think? Uh, 
what's your perfect size woman or guy and it doesn't matter total anonymity comment down below and if anybody reams anybody so if I see like some guy's name post um, I want my men to be this size and someone gets on them all oh, fucking bag I'm deleting your fucking post I'm telling you right now don't get on people I don't give a shit if you're gay if you like 9,000 pound chicks if you like 20 pound chicks if you want to fuck elephants post down there it's a free goddamn country so whatever the fuck you want to put fucking put it however I will like I just said I will delete any post that uh, mock threaten and or endanger anyone's rights so if you threaten anybody or post faggot or dyke or whatever anyone likes no racial slurs either. I'm going to delete those real quick like in my last video someone um, uh, posted about um, uh, movies and I was talking about movies and trilogies and what movies were good and someone um, posted this movie was really good and someone posted screw you and put nigger I'm not tolerating that crap All right. unless you are black then feel free which sounds kind of bad, but if you're Irish, you can put Mick. If you're English, you can put Limey. If you're Sicilian, you can put Guido and Wap and Diego. I just wouldn't recommend that last one, actually, because I got punished for calling someone. Anyway, moving along. What is your perfect size woman or man? I don't give a crap. Post down below. Let me know. And that's the end of this show, because I gotta go.